Hey guys, it's day 17 of the Wine with Mallory Advent Calendar. I'm cruising today. As you can see, this is the third day in this sweatshirt. I do plan on taking a shower tonight, but you have to also remember that the only time I get to do videos is after my toddler child and my adult child, both named Michael, go to bed. I can't really talk about daddy Michael in front of him if I'm making fun of him so I just I I just do, wait till they go to sleep so I can get the videos pumped out uh, today I just have to point out that we watched The Voice tonight it's the final episode of The Voice it's sort of a big deal in our house and Michael asked what wine we were having tonight for Wine with Mallory I didn't really care at the time because I was wrapping presents since we finally got our Christmas tree up. I figured I may as well wrap some presents while I'm in the cheery mood, the Christmas mood. And he opens a bottle all by himself. He picks it out. No problem. We bought 24 wines. We know. I, I know what we got. Does this look like half to you? No. This right here, that is less than half of the bottle. And I haven't tried this wine yet just because I had to show you what kind of crap that is. How fair is that? That's maybe a glass and a half. So now we're going to start. Okay, I'm going to fill the glass all the way up, but technically a real glass is not this full, just so you know. There's no reason I should be able to fit a so-called half a bottle of wine in one glass. Which is not the way it works. So let's let's just start with this while we're on it. We're talking about it. I went so far as to look up how to pronounce this so I didn't sound as stupid because I realized. I don't sound very educated talking about wine. I'm reviewing wine or I'm telling you what I like. Really, I'm just whining about everything else. And I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these. Do you see the cat? Do you see that? That's what I deal with all the time. Cats. So this is a Sauvignon Blanc. I feel fancy. You know, one day I'll get this whole video thing right. It's a 2011 out of California, Charles Shaw. It is also one of the 2.99 wines at Trader Joe. Unless you're in California, then it's a chew buck chuck at Trader Joe's. Let me start off by saying I don't drink a lot of uh, whites. I don't. They're not my thing. I smell a lot of melons. Oh, this is 12.5%, just so you know. It's not my style. If you like this kind of wine, sure. Obviously, Michael liked it because he drank two thirds of the bottle. Maybe I just need to get used to it. We'll talk about this later. After I drink more. Oh, okay, so. I talked about the crazy cats, right? Now, I'm going to give you the cheapest, best cat toy recommendation you've ever received. I sit here late at night. Usually I go to bed 2.30, 3 o'clock. And I work. Well, when I get into the zone, if the crazy cats are just 
going ape shit in the house, I get annoyed and I have to go figure out what they're doing and take whatever they're doing away from them. Okay, so the cat started taking my makeup wedges and I have to put them in a container that's sealed so they can't get to it. Fine. Except I forgot I had some underneath the cupboard in the bathroom. So one night I pulled five, five of these and I kept, I thought I had a ghost in the house. They were freaking driving me crazy. So they're running around playing with something and it turns out it was one of these puppies and I go to the bathroom and the door is open. Why is the cabinet door open? Michael didn't leave it open, did he? No, he doesn't go in the bathroom. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I shut the door and I go back to work. I'm probably making a video or typing something up. I've probably had some wine, so I'm, I'm okay with knowing I might be a little crazy. So I go back and back and back and get and we do it all over again. And I realize it's the cats. So after five, I finally shut the door and just said, screw it. They're driving me up the wall. They love these. I don't know if it's because they bounce. They do bounce. It's kind of fun. Just pick some of these up at the store if you have cats. They're oodles of fun and then if they don't tear them to pieces you can put makeup on clearly I, I don't wear enough makeup if I have so many left over I do my eyebrows someone threatened to shave my eyebrows at our conference in May and if that happens I will cry I will cry purple tears all over the pink suitcase I'm trying to grow them back. I'm almost to the point of rogaining them or something. I don't know. I need to rogain them to repluck them because I, you know, when I started plucking them in like seventh grade, he just. <laughs> Let me tell you what else happens when the cats get in the cupboards and try to find your makeup wedges but there aren't any makeup wedges in the cupboard there's nothing more annoying than buying toilet paper right can't find a good coupon deal or you can't find a good deal on amazon it's probably too much money makes me cry when i was pregnant I just wanted to start drip drying because I was going through a, a roll of toilet paper a week by myself. <sighs> Can't afford that bull crap. Just air dry. This is what starts. Started. I started finding it on the floor, and I still find it on the floor. See this? This is a cat, not a child. A cat. This is my roll of toilet paper. This is delightful. So delightful. Makes me mad. But I guess while we're on this topic of toilet paper, are you an over or an under person? When I started dating Michael and found out he is an under person, I was beyond irritated. Oh, beyond irritated because I am an over person. That's just the way it works. I don't want to go digging for my toilet paper behind the toilet paper roll. I want it to be sitting on top. And if you want to make me feel special and loved, you will fold it in a little, you know, triangle like they do triangle. Maybe. At the dude at the hotel. 
It's just the way I roll. Don't you dare tell me you're an under person. That's disgusting. Just disgusting. Want to know what else is going on in the Shuplin household? Since this is the most random, no, not the most random. The most random was where I did crunches on video for you. We're doing a project together. I finally get to replace my father-in-law with me. And we have a babysitter. I get to do a project. It's not Michael and his dad. And me watching the baby. That's gay. That just sucks. Who wants to be stuck watching the baby? I'd rather do manual labor than watch the baby. I watch the baby all week. That's what I do. Watch the baby and try to work. Remember we talked about how I had to play with them? Standing in my chair. Like, I want to do manual labor. Make me do it. So, we went to Lowe's. As a family. On family day before date day that I've already talked to you about. And, uh... We found some tile for the laundry room. That's the room we're doing. It's nice and small. It shouldn't... Now it is going to be expensive. But it'll be it'll be good for us. Gotta start somewhere when you buy a fix-me-up home. Check out this. On clearance. This is what the tile is going to look like in our, in our laundry room. We're going to have light blue walls and I'm going to get darker blue uh, bubbles vinyl bubbles on the walls and I have these bubble mirrors that are going on there and then I have this little cute sign that's blue and I don't remember what it says I'm not quite sure I don't know and then we're putting cupboards in and closing off a cupboard we're closing off the closet that's in the laundry room because we're going to knock it out right here, here, you see this right here? That's the closet to the laundry room. We're going to knock it out or box it in on the laundry room side, knock it out on this side and put a floor to ceiling wine chiller, wine cooler. So that right next to my bar, because that's what it is, a pimpin bar right now. Messy, messy bar. See that? It's a bar. This will be wine cooler, floor to ceiling. We might remove one of these cupboards and put a kegerator in with a tap. So it'll hold a pony or something. I'm not quite sure. And then all of our glasses are up top and it's gonna be pimping. I'm gonna be so happy. I'm going to keep it stacked full of wine, but I will not be drinking every day like I have almost been for you guys. I just, I can't do it. Okay, this has mellowed out a little bit now that I've had it a couple times. doesn't have a very long finish or anything it's just it's there I can taste it fruity very fruity at first it had a bit of a bite to it in that I, I don't it makes my teeth fuzzy I don't drink sweet wines because they make my teeth fuzzy hmm Yeah, I drank it again. Probably would choose some of the other wines over this one. Do you see this? How sassy is that one? You know why I don't put on nail polish? Look at this. It's been a week and a half. This looks awful. You know how long it's going to stay like that? Until the 23rd when I have to go somewhere and I should probably paint my nails again because you can't go out in public like this. 
Oh, you can. I do all the time. But it's the holidays and people, like, take pictures and stuff. And that's the one time I have to look like a woman, be a woman, and shave my legs and my armpits and make sure I don't smell or wash this mop I have going on. Man, I need to take a shower tonight. Because you guys care so much. But the reason I have to take a shower is because I have the coolest head accessory, hair accessory, head accessory to wear tomorrow. Oh my goodness. It's like an orgasm on my head. Which I guess could happen. I guess it could. Cheers to you. I'm almost all caught up. This is day 17 on day 18. That's not too shabby. I'm only one day behind now. Cheers.